Hey guys, it's Jennifer from Breakthrough Maths and today I'm going to show you how you use the minus B formula to solve for X. So as you can see here, I've included what you would see in your log tables when you go to the algebra section. So here is the minus B formula. So you don't need to remember it because you'll have it in the exam because you will have your log tables provided. Okay, so here's our question. We're asked to solve the equation 2x squared plus 13x minus 3 is equal to 0, giving our answer correct to three decimal places. So we need to remember that when we come to our final answers at the end. Okay, so how do we know we have to use minus b formula here? Well, we're asked to solve and solve always means you need to find x. And also we have an x squared, an x and a number. And when you have an x squared, an x and a number, that's how you find a, b and c. So a is always the number in front of the x squared, b is always the number in front of x and c is always the number by itself. So that means that a is going to be 2, b is going to be 13 and c is going to be minus 3. So now we have all our letters and we can get into solving the minus B formula. So X is going to be equal to minus B. Our B is 13, so minus B is minus 13, plus or minus, so I'm just following along with the formula I have highlighted in yellow, the square root of B squared, so 13 squared, minus four by A by C. And our A by C is two by minus three and that's all over two by a. So two by a is two by two. So then we have x is going to be equal to minus 13 plus or minus the square root of 13 squared is going to be 169. Then we have minus four by two by minus three and that gives us plus 24 all over two by two is four. And tidying that up a bit, that leaves us with x is going to be equal to minus 13 plus or minus the square root of 193 divided by four. So that's how we tidy that up. Now we break it into two different options. So because it has a plus or minus, that means we're gonna get two different answers for x. That's where we see that here. It can be plus or minus the square root of 193. So now we'll show that with those two options. So when we do the plus option first, we have x is going to be equal to minus 13 plus the square root of 193 divided by 4. And that gives you x is equal to 0 0.223, keeping it to three decimal places like they asked. Then when we use the minus option, so when x is equal to minus 13 minus the square root of 193 divided by 4, you get x is equal to minus 6.723, again, to three decimal places. And that's how you solve for x using the minus b formula.